Alright lines, so today we are going to be talking about the new upcoming banner that will be dropping in around 12 or so hours time and trying to talk about what we could possibly actually see. As always, it's a prediction video, so in the comments below, you lads can join in on the fun and let me know you lads predictions and if you get any of them right, we will give you lads a shout out in tomorrow's video when we react to the new characters. So this upcoming mid one banner is actually very exciting for many, many reasons, but the main reason is because it has the potential chance to be a new double team character. For the most part in the last last two or so years since they have been doing double team characters they only ever release a double team character for some reason for the mid month of may and that's currently the banner that's going to be dropping tomorrow so if we go by the last couple assumptions so at the very least if we go by the last two or so years we should expect to see a new double team character and that's what i'm here to talk about today what double team character could we potentially see assuming there's going to be a new double team character tomorrow again kello can always change things up on us there's no guarantee it does happen but, you know, if we just go by the last two years, I think it's very likely that we are going to see a double team character. And the reason why I'm also very excited for this too is because mid month characters have been kind of cracked lately. They've been definitely pushing how powerful a mid month character can be. Obviously, they're still limiting certain characters by not giving them Havoc, for example. But we've seen some really good characters come out from mid month banners in the last four or so months. So I'm kind of excited to see how they're going to push that again with a potential new double team character. So let's quick, quickly check what it is in case you don't know the upcoming banner should be a redux summons right that's what the last banners have been it first started with Toshiro and Gin or Gin and Izuru and then Toshiro as the third character and then last year was Yoruichi and Soifon with Nana as the third character so again we could potentially see something here with a double team character and also Toshiro. Now since we already have received a Technic and a Mind character I think it's safe to assume that the upcoming double team character could be Speed, Power or Hearts. My hope is actually going to be a Heart character. Also, in addition to that, they have been keeping up to date with just doing Soul Society characters, but lately they've been doing a lot of, like, character battle town summons, and I don't think they need to, like, stick themselves to Soul Society, so I'd love for them to, like, kind of branch out of there and give us another, like, duo character that wasn't featured in Soul Society. And the reason why I do say that is because I've been thinking, like, what potential double team character could we actually receive in this upcoming banner? And there isn't that much character they can do, at least for Soul Society. And I feel like if they branch out to other arcs, we could potentially get some pretty fun characters. Of course, one example would be, um... I don't think this would happen, but I would love to see, like, a white Ichigo and Tensor. That would be really cool. I know they've we've gotten, like, an Ichigo and white Ichigo tag team, but, you know, I, I love Corn of itself, but I feel like getting like a duo that we don't ever see put together would be actually kind of fun. Uh, but my prediction for this video is actually a very likely duo that is eventually bound to happen, whether it's this banner or an upcoming like Redux, Redux banner like a year or so, is Shunsui and Jushiro. They could go two routes actually. They could do it from Soul Society, even though they're only, they do I guess fire and Soul Society together, but not too much, right? And they also could take it from the Karakura Battle Town Summons where they go against Stark and Lenineth for example. I actually kind of like to see that because then they would be in like the Shikai and that'd be really cool to see a Shunsui and Jushiro. And I mean, we saw it last year with Yoruichi and Siphon. That was a very easy guess. I mean, I, I don't think I guessed it last year. I didn't think they were going to do Redux again or another double team character. But Yoruichi and the second we saw a tag team character, I we all assumed Yoruichi and Siphon was eventually going to happen. And it eventually did, and I'm very excited for that. I feel like another, again, duo that is just bound to happen that just makes complete sense is Shinsui and Jushiro. So I feel like they, have, they just have to do them eventually. And I feel like tomorrow could be the day they actually do that. And again, it could be taken from Soul Society. It could be taken from Karakura. Kuratown. If it's taken from Karakura Town, I might hope him is that the third character is actually going to be Lily Net. Because they again they're not gonna do Stark. We literally just received a Stark. But Stark basically already got a character with you know the Barragon banner. So I feel like Lily Net hasn't received the canon character in like five or so years. So I'm kind of hoping here, lads. I'm kinda like, you know, hold on. I might be on to sign it. <laughs> Probably not. Uh, you know my prediction, whenever I say something, it doesn't go that way. But I feel like a Lily Net and then a duo. Shunsui and Jushiro would be a really cool character combination, in my opinion. Um, other than that, what other character could they actually do? Uh, no idea. Honestly, I'm 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 uh, I'm running for a blank right now. If they do decide to do anyone else, but I'm excited either way. If they don't do Jushiro or Shunsui, if they do someone else, uh, maybe an unpopular duo, just a duo in general. I'm very excited to look forward to how this character could play out. Because looking at the past duo characters, they have been getting significantly better. You know, we saw the Gin and Izu that came out. They were pretty cool. They obviously started the entire double team character. Then we got Yuri and Soifon, who got a pretty cool mechanic where if you get above a certain combo, yeah. So the more combo you 
you get, the more damage your double team character does. Shout out to that lad, by the way. Much love. Jackson, Yevs, Leon. Hopefully I said that name right. I don't think I did. But in this case, um, this was kind of a cool idea. And I wish they would actually bring it back. And I feel like bringing that back for double team characters would be the way to go. Getting a certain bonus by getting a combo is something that we've never really seen before since this character, until this character came out. And even then, since this character's come out a year ago tomorrow, we haven't seen them do anything with it. Now, this was a cool idea. Increase the double team character damage. Because the double team mechanic is still kind of a gimmick at the end of the day. The character is just there. They don't really do much because they don't get the skills. But in this case, I feel like, you know, maybe give us a combo bonus and give us a different skill, you know? Maybe if you have, like, a certain combo, you get... 20% more strong attack damage, or you unlock a new skill. That would be kind of cool. Additionally, what we saw with Yoroichi Siphon 2 is that they actually are pretty stacked. Like, they had a 20% full stamina damage soul trait with a 20% Berserker, and also two girls with good strong attacks. They're really good. Even for a mid month character a year later, they are still some of the, you know, better characters in the game because they're a double team character with two two killers. Because keep in mind, double team characters do come with two killers. It makes them one of the best characters, not one of the best characters, but a top tier character nonetheless, right? And with how mid month characters have been going, we could potentially get a super cracked out character tomorrow. Uh, you know, imagine a nad character with mid month stats and then two killers. Uh, speaking of that, I'm actually kind of hoping it that I'm not even sure if it'll be a good or a bad thing if we actually get a Nad character tomorrow with that Jushiro and Shinsui, assuming it is those two or someone else, because we haven't seen K-Lab's take on a Nad character when it comes to double team characters. The last two double team characters have both been uh, frenzy based or SP based, and I wouldn't mind to get another SP character because they do get two killers. Uh, but I would like to see how they would tackle a double team character that is Nad based, because that would be kind of fun to try them out in Guild Quest and potentially Brave Battles, for example. Uh, speaking of that, though, I do want to mention what attribute we could see as i did mention at the start of the video assuming they're not going to do the same attribute we could get a heart character a speed or a power character now in my opinion if caleb was smart they would do a heart character and they would make sure their killer is hollow the reason i say that is because heart right now needs a new hollow killer if we actually quickly go look at every character in the game sought by heart that has a hollow killer look at that it's outrageous. Fourth anniversary. We are almost coming up to three year anniversary since this character came out. And we have received... Well, basically, we basically get one Heart Hollow Killer a year. <laughs> it's that bad. This has been... This niche, Heart Hollow Killers, has been drastically ignored by K-Lab. And I feel like this upcoming character, if they want to... Maybe they want... Because K-Lab know people skip premium banners and especially mid-month banners. Um, if they want people to actually somewhat summon on the characters, I feel like releasing a Heart Hollow Killer would be the way to go, especially if it's an SP-based character. We obviously did get Findor recently, but Findor isn't SP-based, doesn't really count. Uh, Lisa doesn't really fit the niche. I kind of wanted 600 Bashi Eyes to be Hollow Killer, but yeah, Lisa... Um, she wasn't enough, which she wasn't enough. So hopefully tomorrow, lads, with this upcoming double team character, again, potential double team character, we could get a new heart character with Hollow Killer. What could the second killer be? Um, I would like to say a Sparta or Sorry Bomb. Not really too sure what I would expect for a second killer, but it's kind of like Azashiro. With Azashiro, the main point was that he was an Aranka killer, and the Hollow Killer is more so a bonus. So if tomorrow we get a, you know, attacked a double team character that is heart based, I'm just hoping he has a Aranka killer. Whatever the second killer may be, I don't really care. It's a bonus. And as long as they're a holo killer, it's a fat dub. But other than that, lads, yeah, that was basically just the prediction video for today. Just talking about what we could potentially tomorrow. My prediction is a Shinsui and Jushiro. That's what I'm kind of hoping to see. If we don't get that, but we still get a double team character done, I'm going to be excited nonetheless because I kind of want to see what they're going to do with that. And hopefully they can be somewhat unique like, you know, Yoroichi and Soifon was. Uh, excited to see what they're going to bring. If they do keep up with the double team characters and in the comments below, let me know what you lads' prediction are for whatever could be coming out tomorrow. And Again, if you get any of the right, we'll shout you lads in tomorrow's video when we react to the new characters. With that said, hope you lads enjoyed the video. I'll see you lads next time. Peace.